As we continue pool play on day three, pool B play, a couple of uh, teams looking for wins. Surprisingly, Japan, uh, who come in 0-2 after a, a nice run at the Asia Cup uh, back in April, a bronze medal there, but uh, have struggled to get going here in Manila, losing to Estonia by six, and also losing by eight to Slovenia, day one. Meantime, Indonesia got a late call to the tournament after Ecuador had some uh, visa issues. So not as surprising to see them uh, get off to a slow start at 0-2. They lose 22-6 uh, to 6 to Poland on day one, as well as a 10-22 to 22 loss to Estonia. But uh, you knew it was going to be tough for both of these uh, both of these teams in uh, in this pool with Slovenia and uh, and Poland and I guess the shock uh, Estonia. So as it stands now, these two teams playing for pride won't have an opportunity to uh, to move on to the medal rounds. Unless, uh, unless a, a miracle happens. And they're working on it right now. Tomoyo Chai misses the short range, Jay. Oh, you could hear that. You could hear that foul right there. So, Jonathan Gasol is making his move on the baseline. Hamatsu wasn't having it. Suzuki. Vroom, vroom. Wets a, th a two ball. That ball, ball thrown off of Komatsu. Heads up play from uh, Ibrahim Lopez Inguil. Shot forced up. Ochai. Nice move, drive, kick, open, sesame, as Noro cashes in. 4 nothing Japan to start fighting for their quarterfinal medal round lives. Nice score on the inside meantime. Chai. Japan with uh, a game remaining against Poland today, depending on uh, how well they do in this one. We'll determine uh, the significance of that game. Ooh, Suzuki he almost fell on the play. Instead, he gets the rebound, kicks it out. Fresh offensive possession for Team Japan. Japan, a country with a newly developed 3x3 league. Recently, more countries are developing 3x3 leagues around the world, like India, Puerto Rico, Australia. And again, Japan right in that mix. We're seeing the results live in, in living color. It's gonna be white ball. As Japan looks to add to this five nothing lead, the first minute and a half, first to 21 wins it. Kyle Montgomery in your ear, have no fear. First thing you need to do is follow our social media account, at FIBA3x3. Use the hashtag 3x3WC. Also hashtag watch us play. You watch a bad shot there from Nono. You can follow me too, at 3x3The Voice. If you want to. In the meantime, Valdo Pangestio, 22-year-old, stepping up to the stripe. Pangestio strokes it. Now Chai kicking it out. Komatsu front of the rim. And looks like Ochai is going to be whistled for the foul. Ochai wearing uh, number 91. 
in honor of his favorite player, Dennis Rodman. His nickname is The Worm. Auto call for the foul underneath. That'll put uh, Jonathan Gasol at the strike. Number one ranked player in Indonesia. Gasol has uh, represented Indonesia at the 3x3 under 23 Nations League in 2018. Shot is good. Nice feed and an athletic finish there. And that was sweet. Ochai off the glass. Four point lead for Team Japan. Long two is missed. Doesn't touch nothing. Pangestio, another look at the nice connection. Bounce pass. Score from Ochai trying to run the same type of play. Pick and roll. It was disrupted but recovered and scored by Komatsu. And then uh, turnover by Indonesia. Japan on the attack again. Suzuki comes up short. Wild pass somehow stays in Indonesia's possession. And the rebound falls right into uh, Inguio's hands, and he does what he's supposed to do with it, score the ball, 7-3. Suzuki, jab step, through the D. Oh, he's got the scoop like a star reporter, plus the foul. And he'll have a chance for a two-point play. Yeah, he's dripping in finesse. Japan has been in control from the start against this one. And, uh, has been an overwhelmed Indonesia team thus far. But when you when you get a late call to join the tournament, when you weren't even technically supposed to be here, then, uh, you can you can kind of understand where it's coming from. So here's Suzuki. Stepping up. Suzuki knocks it down. Quick clear and shot. Missed. Bounce pass. Leads to nothing for Indonesia. Komatsu, devastating jab step out to Suzuki. And just too strong on the shot, but gets the rebound. And then Noro is able to uh, draw the foul. Pangestio. Oh, I thought Noro. Was, drew the foul, he actually committed the foul. So six point game, make that a five point game as Indonesia gets their fourth point, courtesy of Inguio. Suzuki, Ochai, turns around, got the shot up, and he's gonna shoot one at the stripe. Indonesia with Three team fouls. Japan, the squad in danger of being in the penalty with six fouls. So the worm. Splashes it. Japan leads it by six. Noro, dime, Komatsu, easy finish. Noro, showing the emotion on the play. He wanted, a, he wanted an offensive foul. Dead, he's whistled in the process of the shot. So, Pangestio. Uh, we'll shoot. Pangestio played at the 2014 Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing, China. Shooting two. 
Japan is in the penalty. They finished 12th at the 3x3 World Cup in 2016 in Guangzhou. How do I know? I was there. And he knocks down both free throws. It's a five-point game. Plenty of time left in this one. So Indonesia starting to challenge uh, more in the previous few possessions. And they got Japan in some trouble in, in, in terms of the foul situation. But they got some uh, they got some making up to do in the scoring category. As they're down 11 to 6. Got an out of bounds challenge here. Out of bounds challenge. So we'll get another look at it. You can make your own determination. Again, each team with a challenge per game. So look at the drive and the score. Lopez. The defense at the rim by uh, Noro. Whistle for the foul. <laughs> Jonathan Gasol, happy to be representing Indonesia for the first time at the 3x3 World Cup. Played at the 3x3 FISU World University League 2017. 10th place finish then. In. Young 20-year-old, ranked number one for his country. Out of, out of bounds challenge still being reviewed. The footage is unclear, so that means the call on the floor will stand. And Japan will retain retain the timeout or retain the uh, the ability to challenge. Indonesia will retain the rock. Pangestio, strong move on the block. And it, don't look now, Team Japan, but it's a four point game. Ochai, sensing that his team needs a spark and he gets to the rack. Komatsu d up. Step back two. To the right, to the right. Ochai. Dives to the bucket, calls for the rock. Foul on the floor. On the floor before the shot. Foul number four on Indonesia. Again, Japan in the penalty. They got to be very careful on the, def on the defensive end the rest of the way. Ochai, no. Noro couldn't get to it. Good box out there by Gasol. I'll tell you, the young fella's got a good, good grasp of the game at, at 20 years old. One of the younger players in the tournament. Ochai, a seasoned veteran, to say the least. Chai's making a third appearance at the World Cup. He's represented the national team for Japan across his chest 17 times. Komatsu gets to the top of the key. Oh, Chai, his two ball is short. Out of bounds, off black. Japan will take over. Ochai will check out. Suzuki checks in. And a 12-7 lead for Japan with just over four minutes to play. Suzuki trying to let the play develop. Komatsu. Drop step. Put your big boy pants on if you're going to battle with him down low. Drive and miss, Pangestio couldn't cap it off. Suzuki, Komatsu, Noro, back to Suzuki. Vroom, vroom. Wet, top of the key. Oh, nice answer right there from Inguio. As he gives him a two-piece with no biscuit. 
15 to nine, six point advantage. Look back, some impressive moves from Pongestio in this game. He's been in his bag. Komatsu using that strength down there on the post. And Suzuki using that touch from outside the two point arc. Wet. This is pool B play on the men's side. Estonia leading the group at 3-0. Poland at 2-1. Have yet to see Slovenia who come into today's action 1-1. One one. Japan just trying to stay alive as they came in defeated at 0-2. Not defeated mentally or spiritually, but just defeated in their first two games. It uh, looks like they, they may get their first W here. They got three minutes to see if they can hold on to this five-point advantage or get to 21 first. That's how 3x3 works, in case you did not know. First 21 wins on the team with the most points after 10 minutes expires. Want to uh, show some love to our official supplier, Sport Court. Also, Shelled Sports, Magic Sky. Much appreciation. Tatsuhito Noro at the stripe here. And the free throw is good, so a six point advantage for Team Japan over Indonesia. Another 0 2 team, but playing their hearts out in this one. And the heads up play <laughs> as Ochai throws it off the dome piece. Of, uh, of Ramadani. Uh, speaking of Ramadani, he and uh, Suzuki played against each other at the Tokyo Masters in 2013. Uh, Ramadani and company won that uh, altercation. So I'm not sure if that's fresh in their mind right now, but just a little bit of context, a little bit of history between some of our players on the court right now. It's a six point game still with two and a half to play. Oh, nice back door. And Komatsu missed it point blank range. Ochai with the D. Forces the travel on Gasol. And Ochai, man, that dude's like a, like a tree stump. It is hard to move him. Champions defense, like his idol Dennis Rodman. Suzuki follows his own miss. So he stopped the rock, and he's rewarded. Japan about to be rewarded with a win as they lead 17 to 10. Thought that two might fall, but it doesn't. Noro over to Suzuki. He wants 19. He sees it rattle out. So Indonesia with a buck and a half to play. They need to start launching twos and launching them in a hurry. And a good finish there at the rim as Gasol gets it to go down. Suzuki, free throw line. Noro, two ball short. Suzuki tracks it. Oh, great save. And I believe that goes off of Gasol. So it's going to be Japan ball. What a hustle there from Suzuki. He's winded after that. But that just shows you the passion because his team got a six point advantage and a pretty comfortable lead. And he's still hustling like his team is down six. So an out of bounds challenge by Indonesia. Didn't agree with the call. So our referees will get an opportunity to get a second look at it and decide uh, whether or not it is indeed Japan ball with the buck 19 officially on the clock. So no matter where you're watching from, whether you're watching on the web or whether you're watching on TV, our media partner ESPN5, ESPN Plus, Watch it on YouTube, Facebook. What up? 
Oh, Hit us up at Fever 3x3. Let us know where you're watching from. Please use the hashtag 3 You make your own determination. And also the hashtag watch us play. It uh, looked like Suzuki was able to uh, maybe throw it off of Gasol's leg, but Gasol immediately protested the call. Challenge is won by Indonesia, so Suzuki's hustle wasted. Well, he still gets a little bit of props from, from me for the effort. Get the A for effort. And then Indonesia promptly gives the rock right back. So now Suzuki to Ochai, Ochai. Gets the pick from Suzuki. Ochai nowhere to go. Suzuki down to Ochai. He's going to try to do his dance on the block. Instead, he kicks it out. Suzuki. Yeah. Shot clock violation. Did not get it up in time. Strong move on the inside. Pangestio couldn't score initially. This time he gives it up, and the short J is missed by Gasol. Ramadani coming out of the scrum with it. And Gasol back to work, working on Suzuki. Approaching 30 seconds left in this one, a three-possession game. Japan just uh, needed to take care of the basketball, use the shot clock to their advantage. Ochai swinging it. Komatsu, that's beautiful ball movement. Komatsu couldn't uh, cap it off. Again, Japan with bronze medal. The uh, Asia Cup in April, keeping some slim metal hopes alive here inside Philippine Arena. Dug themselves a hole day one of pool play, but a win here does keep it alive for them. Score there from Ochai makes it 18 to 11. And that's where it's going to end. Japan with the 18 to 11 win over Indonesia. Their first win of the tournament. Brings them to one and two in pool B. Indonesia 0 and three. And see their hopes of a medal. Dashed, eliminated, gone. But still playing for a lot of pride out here. So in their, uh, in their final game, expect them to uh, leave it all on the line as they lace them up against uh, Slovenia. Look back at the highlights in this one. Japan in control. So we saw Indonesia a little bit rattled at the beginning. Ochai and the rest of the Japanese vets seize the moment in a must-win situation. They get the W. And you 